what you're saying is different from what you already told me. I cannot remember. Those were just initial theories, anyway. I have recorded everything in the post-mortem account. Shall I quote from it? That won't be necessary. It seems Dr. Herman has lost his memory since yesterday. Why is he concealing what he originally wanted to tell me after we had first met? That death report would interest me, but not in his presence. I spoke with Detective Collier about Henry's death. It was inevitable that he would end this way. He was a lost cause. What do you mean? Well, it certainly was not the first time something happened to that man after he drank himself into a stupor. I know this well because it was I who had to restore him to normalcy after the other bouts. It was not usually serious. However, on this occasion, he overestimated his capacity for drink for the last time. This is rather awkward. But you see, Henry had something important that belongs to me. I have looked just about everywhere and have not found it. So it occurred to me that he might have had it with him, and that you... So, what is this it supposed to be? Actually, it's just a small piece of paper, but it's very important. Otherwise, I would not ask you. You want me to search his personal belongings? I would be grateful if you would do that, Doctor. Gordon, that parcel is part of the evidence. I cannot just remove something and give it to you until the police have completed their investigations. But that something was mine. No matter. Until the case is officially closed, I cannot even show you any of those things. I understand. Thank you, Doctor. At least I know where that blasted bill of exchange is. Dr. Herman, I'd like to ask you about something in connection with Henry's death. Mr. Gordon, it was my impression that this affair is currently being investigated by Detective Collier. Is that so? This affair, as you call it, happened in my garden. I have every right to be interested in it. All right. What do you want to know? I found a footprint right next to the fountain. It was quite deep and very recent. Yes, we noticed it. Collier made a record of it in his papers. I do not know what else I can tell you. Did you notice something odd about it? What do you mean? The person who left that footprint either limped or had been carrying something quite heavy. Hmm. You have an eye for detail, Gordon. That is exactly what Collier said. So? The trouble is, there are footprints all over the place, and they most probably all belong to your room. What is his name again? Morris? Yes. You can exclude that one, though, if you thought of him as a potential murderer. Let me tell you why. I'm listening. I should not be telling you this, but it is your business in a way, too, so... I have been doing autopsies for over 15 years, and I have never seen anything like this before. Something seemed odd to me the very moment we dragged him out of the pond. His skin was entirely white. You see, I know what the body of a drowned man looks like even after a month, but this was different. He looked as if he did not have a single drop of blood left in his body. Maybe it was in the water. Impossible, Gordon. I told you I know what a drowned man looks like. I have not mentioned this to Collier, however. He would think I am going mad. I need to prove my theory first. So what have you found out? Exactly what I expected. No blood. Not a single drop of it anywhere. As though something squeezed the life out of him like the juice from an orange and disposed of its skin in that fountain. This is not like anything I have ever witnessed. I'm not a doctor, but I can see it's more than strange. This is not strange, Gordon. 
It is flat out impossible. Even if someone deliberately wanted to extract all of his blood, there would still be some remaining in the organs and muscles. So what's your opinion now? I have no theories yet as to what my conclusions should be. I have no sensible explanation for what I found, but so far, nothing is indicative of a violent death. Thanks for telling me this, Dr. Herman. Listen, no one except the two of us is aware of this fact, and I would prefer it to remain that way for now. When you speak to Collier, do not tell him anything. I will tell him myself when the timing is appropriate. Understood. I'll say nothing. You can take my word for it. Now that is truly weird. Hmm. Doctor, do you think you could go outside for a moment so I could have a look around? I could forget my wallet on the table when you return. Excuse me? If I had not known your family for so long, I would be offended. Look, I can see where you're coming from. I already told you the parcel has to stay sealed until the investigation is over. So forget it. the thunder? Right. Why are you sitting here like this in the rain? Wouldn't you rather be at home? I don't mind the rain. And also, I can't go home. You can't? You're in trouble, aren't you? Well, it's that broken window from yesterday. Harry told my dad, you know. So I'm not exactly hurrying home. Oh, I see. I have to go now. Be careful of the windows next to you. I will. Throwing my ball to the other side would be a lot safer. Ten minutes to two. It's showing the same time as yesterday. It's broken. I can't see anything I need. I don't want to buy any of these things. It's mostly garbage. It only contains more trifles for sale. I wonder if it too is for sale, or if it's part of the inventory here. Hard to say among all these things. Murray opened this pawn shop some ten years ago. Good morning. How can I help you? A few days ago, a man pawned a certain object here. An article similar to this one. I remember Henry pawned something that looked like that. Yes, that's true. I'd like to redeem the object. Certainly, sir. It's thirty-five pounds. And I require the bill of exchange with the owner's signed agreement, of course. I'll give you the money, but you see, I haven't got that bill. Sir, surely you know that I cannot return any pawned object without the corresponding bill of exchange. I can understand why you do not want to release it without the bill, but I will pay for it. I'm sorry, that's the rules. That object is very important to me. I am willing to pay a special price. That's possible, but how fair would it be to the owner if I sold their property to somebody else within the pawn period? 
According to the rules, the object belongs to them.